Hello there, and welcome to Doc Tales. Yeah, this is trip 143. Whoa. We went from a rocky little place there <laughs> at the fisheries and uh, In, came up um, here. Cape Vincent. Cape Vincent, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it is a neat little town. It is. But well, let me tell you, this town here, Clayton, is awesome. <laughs> And uh, we have stayed here now two nights. This yeah. is our second night. Right. And had a visit by our harbor host, Sally and Lynn. So exciting. Yeah, they We came finally over. had dock tales for real with other people. It was yeah. really nice. It was awesome. So the harbor host is a part of the American Great Loop Cruises Association. Mm -hmm. They have people who volunteer at different places ports and they have local knowledge of what's going on and they'll help you out with things if you need a ride, <laughs> uh, you need to get to provision or something, uh, just people who know the local area and it was really neat to get to meet the two of them on the boat. They brought us, uh, yes. brought, we had a bottle of wine they brought and right. brought us uh, some uh, flatbread pizza can you believe and that? jalapeno poppers. Oh my goodness, the best poppers I've ever had. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was really neat to have docktails and uh, with uh, Lynn. Yeah. And Sally. And Sally. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, so we got to explore Clayton and. Uh, oh, but the ride over. Oh, the ride over. Yeah, the ride the, over was just great. Sam scared me because it was pretty windy when we left <laughs> Cape Vincent, but he's like, "It'll be fine." So sure enough, we got up closer into the um, stretch there, mm -hmm. and it was fine. Yeah, it was. It wasn't anything like the day before. I had second thoughts uh, as we were starting to untie the lines. We were starting to get <laughs> gusts of wind, yep. and so I said, you know, come back in, and uh, we took a look at it, and uh, uh, we both felt comfortable we because we were at the end of the gusty wind, and uh, when we got going, it was just mm. fine. It was pretty flat, as you probably saw along the way. But uh, got into here, and this is a story for, you know, didn't really know what to expect here because I could yeah. not get a hold of this marina. Mm -hmm. They're run by the city, and there's another marina that's run by the city, mm -hmm. and could not get them to call me back. So I end up thinking, well, it's run by the city. I'll call the city and see what's up. So I got a hold of some judge's office, and uh, they were asking me if I had a legal issue that they needed, and I said, <laughs> no, I'm just, you know, bringing a boat up from Cape Vincent and trying to get a hold of the marina. So then they said, okay, well, let me give you another number. So they gave me another city number. Thank goodness for cell phones. And I uh, <laughs> highly encourage you to have two different carriers. Oh, right. Yeah, particularly because right here we're close to Canada, and one of the cell phones kept wanting to lock on to Canada and charge us for, you know, yeah. roaming and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you had the Verizon uh, signal was good. But got a hold of somebody in a department and they said, oh, okay, we'll have somebody call you. And I thought, oh, yeah, sure, <laughs> like that's going to happen. <laughs> and they did. In about three or four minutes, the phone rang and the gentleman was so apologetic <laughs> for not, you know, answering the phone and calling me back and said, okay, he gave me all the instructions about coming in here, said he got a hold of, I guess he was a supervisor of a recreation parks or something, oh, okay. gave me, um, you know, um, uh, said that the dock master would be down here to meet us. Mm -hmm. So we hailed them on, uh, I think it was channel 71. <clears throat> and uh, she answered the phone. I was just hoping we could get on a tea head because... You know, it was, yeah, it was better conditions, but it's still really But windy. what we knew was it, mm -hmm. it was going to really blow over the next right. couple of days. Right, right, so right. we really wanted a safe, secure place to tie down and, um, you know, not rock and roll the whole time. Yeah. So we talked and we looked at the overlay uh, for uh, in Waterway Guide and uh, it showed us where it was. And we were able to communicate with the dock master and we got on the inside of a break, break wall, as you call it. Yeah. And uh, luckily we did because it really rocked and rolled yesterday a, yeah. a, a bunch. I think uh, this is the best parking place we could have gotten. Yes, I think so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's only one other big boat out here, a Riviera, and then about uh, four other boats out. So it's really the end of the season. People oh. are taking boats out, just like mm -hmm. we're going to be doing uh, <laughs> when we head up to Alexandria exactly. Bay. But, you know, that's a lesson learned, you know, toward the end of the season. Really, you have to be creative as to... How do you get a hold of a marina and tie up? <laughs> well, we were going to come in anyway, based on what we read. 
in the waterway guide and just tie up and then sort it out from there. But it was uh, c quite a challenge to get a hold of somebody. But they're very nice, uh, very nice here. But let's talk about the town of Clayton. Oh my gosh, what a great town. <sighs> we had no idea. Now, we missed Clayton the last time. We went from Oswego over to Canada. We just crossed Lake mm -hmm. Ontario, boom, done. Um, this time, as you know, we're headed up to Alexandria Bay and have stopped at some really great places that I am so glad that we, you, mm -hmm. uh, made these arrangements. So, we found this breakfast place um, that... The Coffee Cove. Coffee mm -hmm. Cove, yes. We have been here, well... Mm -hmm. Two nights. Two mornings. Well, yeah, two mornings. And we've had two breakfasts there. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think, I think we'll just get up tomorrow and leave, don't you? I think so. Or you so. think we have time to go to the Coffee Cove? Probably not. Well, we probably <laughs> do have time to go to the Coffee oh. Cove. Might get up and walk around and see, but mm. it is really a neat town. Yes. Uh, so the Coffee oh, Cove. Oh, and uh, um, you, I'm going to, I like to show our table and I didn't do a good job of setting up the, the um, shot this time. This is happy hour slash probably dinner. <sighs> Yes, of course. This is what we had left over from our lunch, late lunch, I guess, mm -hmm. at Coyote, Coyote Moon, Moon Vineyards. Vineyards. Yes. They have a little shop there. Um, Sam and I, as you might guess, have different interests. <laughs> so, so we split up for the morning. You want to talk right, about yeah. what you did? Oh, I went to the antique boat museum and it was just oh incredible i i took a lot of videos and actually asked them hey could we could we put these videos on youtube they said oh absolutely so <laughs> they they wanted us to share or chatted with the people there but it is just a fabulous place and the great thing was is that i was really as i went through the five buildings kind of alone there was probably only about four or five other guests there but you had to wear your mask yeah i had to wear time. a mask yeah. but mm -hmm. i was able to take it off and just kind of like walk around and take a few videos uh -huh. and for me it was like wow you could just feel the history you could feel the craftsmanship of those boats uh -huh. and just like you know imagine going back in time and thinking about you know what they had to work with and it is just it was fabulous i spent about three hours there i bet it was longer yeah, yeah. anyway we just left after breakfast and we met up at 1 30 mm -hmm. at, <laughs> at the coyote moon so he was doing that i was shopping they have the cutest shops on their yeah. main street there oh my goodness yeah it was a lot of fun and so i talked him into um well, he agreed yeah. to to meet with me mm -hmm. at this um, Coyote Coyote Moon. Moon. They we did a tasting. Wine, ta wine tasting. Mm -hmm. So for six dollars, we got to taste six different wines. So Sam and I have stumbled into a place called Coyote Moon Vineyards, and we stopped in here, and we're doing a wine tasting. You can pick six from their list of wines and we each picked our own and um, yeah so we're kind of sharing and tasting and <laughs> they have a box that they call cuomo snacks because the governor here makes you eat something when you're, when you're, at, you're a at a bar yeah. so uh, in in addition to that we ordered some hummus and uh, caprese yeah, salad because so. we didn't know about the yeah, box here snack, yeah. but anyway it's a great place you should definitely when you were in clayton Come by Coyote Moon uh, Vineyards. Vineyards store. Yeah. Six dollars each. Six dollars yeah, each. Right. Uh, Six, Twelve dollars for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six dollars a piece. So twelve dollars, and we had a uh, wine tasting, and then we ordered some. Can you get that phone? It keeps uh, oh, it's just vibrating. A vibrating over okay. There. So this hummus. It, homemade. Right? Homemade hummus. It is. It does. It looked a lot cuter there at the store. This yeah. is our leftover version, but it is the best hummus I have ever tasted. And then a caprese I'm salad. not even kidding. And then, a, yep, caprese salad on this side, and this, uh, of a course, pita. the pita yeah. bread so, came yeah, with it. It was awesome. So and then we're we just kind of walked up. around the town a bunch more. You know, so, it is so yeah, great. The town uh, is yeah. neat. And, and I can just imagine what this place is like in the summertime with the boats. And we're right here on the St. Lawrence River. So 
you know, tomorrow we have 10 miles to head up to uh, Alexandria Bay where we will spend really the weekend, you know, getting the boat ready yeah. to go inside. They'll pick it up on uh, Monday morning. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a bicycle. Somebody's bicycling down here. Anyway, uh, they'll pick it up on Monday morning. It's so a gang. It's, it's a, a bicycle gang. gang. That's a bicycle gang. <laughs> so we'll get some stuff off the boat, um, do some last minute preps, and you know, make sure that we have, uh, we're going to meet with a detailer to kind of do some cosmetics on the boat while it's in inside winter storage. Uh, we'll meet with him, um, you know, clean, it, clean out sea strainers, that kind of stuff, that and then fun. Uh, get ready on Monday morning when they come, uh, we'll unload our bags and uh, we'll let them take the boat and <laughs> put it inside and say goodbye to her. You're sad, aren't you? I am. He's having an emotional yeah, moment. Yeah, you know, I've the just gotten we so, get. <laughs> I've gotten so, you know, ingrained. This is really our home, and uh, it's like, oh, wow, we're not only leaving our home, but it's a sense of adventure. I really enjoy each, you know, place that we go, and I like mm -hmm. doing the planning and driving the boat, so I'm going to miss it. And you know I, I love that about you. Yeah, yeah I'm going <laughs> to miss it. So, um, but we're going to do some traveling in in between and look at some boats and maybe travel hopefully with uh, COVID so anyway travel trying to look COVID, well right? travel you know depending on the COVID thing, oh, where gotcha. we could go gotcha. you know what yeah, countries yeah. will let us mm -hmm. right. go places or what states we could go to or yeah but exactly. we're just gonna hold up and you know wait for the COVID to go away yeah. who knows but so since I uh you probably noticed I have wet hair just uh there is a the shower um and the restrooms at the marina are open 24 7 so yeah, uh, yeah. really nice really place nice here. Facility. And, and this is <clears throat> i'm told that the city runs two marinas this is the clayton municipal town mm. docks or village docks mm. and then there's the harbor hotel which is right here right next and then on the other it. side there's like i think it's called the saint mary's docks or oh, something like okay. that that the city supposedly also runs mm. And then there's a yacht uh, club uh, down the way on the other side of the bay. So um, a lot of places here, you know, where you can tie up and actually probably a places where you could anchor here. So I would imagine, I cannot wait to I, get back in April I know. slash May. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to go right to Canada. Uh, but I do want to come back to uh, Clayton and at least spend a, a night or two here because this is really a, a special... Yeah special uh town right. really neat <laughs> and you can tell they're doing a lot of work downtown oh, too yes um you know uh Bridging construction sidewalks. the sidewalks yeah. it's just beautiful mm -hmm. and the parks along here so yeah. um need need to need to go to clayton Check it is it a out. must I know. and so you know Definitely. i mean I we missed so. it last time but i'm so glad that we're here yeah. and i mean <laughs> you know anyway so I guess that's enough uh, commercial for Clayton. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just, uh, it was really a neat experience. So uh, anyway, so we're going to continue having docktails yep. and relax. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in and uh, sharing the time with us here. So it uh, means a lot to us.